Praise the Lord. Good morning and welcome to the Sunrise with Jesus. Friends, you and I, we believe in God. You and I, we also know that sufferings are real. Now, how many of us have faced this question that if God is love, as we claim, then how can he allow sufferings? Well, some people have gone on to say that sufferings are the proof that God does not exist. And some have gone even further to say that sufferings are the punishment that God brings upon our lives. What does the Holy Spirit say? The response of the Holy Spirit to this situation is one word or rather one gift, the gift of fortitude. And today on day four of the Novena to the Holy Spirit, we are opening ourselves to the promise of the Holy Spirit in the gift of fortitude. Friends, Jesus loves us and where there is love, there are plenty of promises. And one of the most beautiful promises is in John chapter 10, verse 10, where Jesus says, I have come that you may have life and life in all its fullness. In fact, the Lord reveals to us that his purpose, his purpose in coming to us is so that you and I may never live in deprivation. You and I may have the fullness of life. This is God's desire for us. And it is this that brought him to this earth. In John chapter 15, verse 11, Jesus says, I give you my word that your joy will be full. As we flick through the pages of the Bible, we see plenty of promises. Promises of life and joy and freedom and love and peace. And yet, Jesus also tells us, in this world, you will have trouble. He assures us that if you are a disciple, you will receive persecutions. Jesus, in fact, says that is the condition of discipleship. If any one of you wishes to follow me, take up your daily cross, the Lord says. In John chapter 15, verse 18, Jesus says, Remember, the world hated me first and therefore the world will hate you. Well, friends, it could seem like a big contradiction. On the one hand, promises of life and joy and love and peace and goodness. And on the other hand, the assurance that we are not going to be shielded from sufferings. When you look at John chapter 14, verse 27, Jesus says something. Something that is a big revelation. He says, I give you my own peace. A peace this world cannot give and a peace that this world cannot take away. And here we understand, no matter what the sufferings that may come into our life, no matter what betrayals, what injustice, what sickness we may have to face, none of these can affect the quality of life. Even if the whole world is against us, even if, as Jesus tells us, your own dear ones turn against you, even if you lose everything else and there is a storm that washes away everything around you, the Lord assures us that the peace and the fullness of life that comes from Him, the fullness of life that satisfies and fills us will never be affected. And this is by the power of the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is known as a consoler. Jesus told his disciples, I will not leave you orphan. I will not leave you and abandon you to the twists and turns of life. But I will send the Holy Spirit who will be your comforter. No matter how broken you may be, the healing, the consolation of the Holy Spirit 
will be so much deeper than the brokenness you may have to endure for a little while. Moreover, Jesus calls the Holy Spirit as a power from above. In our weaknesses, it is this power from above that will raise us above the storm, so to say. It is spoken of the eagle. It has such powerful wings that when the storm strikes and every other bird goes and tries to find a little space to hide in, the eagle stretches out its wings and rises above the storm clouds. Friends, it is these wings of power that is the gift of fortitude. Fortitude is that power of the Holy Spirit that enables us to face the challenges of life and enables us to make those challenges into blessings where we will be raised up to new heights, new glories and a new standard of living life, living life in all its fullness. As we proceed to the Eucharistic adoration, let us stop focusing on our troubles. Let us stop recounting all that people have done against us. Let us look to the Lord and His mighty power. Let us open our lives to the gift of fortitude. Together with Mother Mary, together with all the saints, we worship you. This is heaven, where you are present, that's where heaven is. Heavenly joy is filling our hearts. All the sadness vanishes from us. You are here present, Jesus. Your name above every other name. 
Your name given for our salvation. Your name at which every knee bows. Your name. Your name, oh Jesus. Your name, name above every other name. Name given for our salvation. The only name given to us for our salvation. The name that means God saves. You are our salvation. You are the Lord, our God. We worship you. We adore you, O oh Jesus. You are truly present to us now. Jesus, we praise you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Praise you. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Praise you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Praise you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Praise you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Praise you, Jesus. Thank you. Praise you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Praise you. Praise you, Jesus. On this day of the Novena, when we pray for the gift of fortitude, we want to offer to God all our weaknesses. We know how weak we are. Simon Peter knew how weak he was. He did not love Jesus enough. His love was not intense and mature when he was asked by the woman, you also were with this man. He denied an easy way out. Lord, we have denied you in many circumstances of our life for a pleasure, for a cheap pleasure, for a gain, for some material benefit. We have denied you. Simon Peter touched your heart and said, I love you. More than everything else. There's nothing more dear than you, O oh Jesus. We want to say that now. We want to say that, Lord, there's nothing more precious than you. Nothing we cannot give up for your sake. Take all our weaknesses. All the sins of our past we offer to you. All the times we fell, we denied, we betrayed you. Lord, anoint us with your Holy Spirit. Strengthen us. Where we are weak, we need your strength. Where we are sinful, we need your forgiveness. All our weaknesses we place in your heart, O oh Jesus, to experience the strength of your Holy Spirit. You are my strength when I am weak. You are the treasures that I see. You are my all in all. You are my all in all. Seeking you as a precious jewel. Not to give up, I'd be a fool. You are my all in all. Jesus. Jesus. Lamb of God. God, Worthy you love the Father, you loved us to that great extent, Jesus, you offered yourself for our God, salvation, Worthy you did not shy away from the cross, your name, of sin I am addicted when to. I, fall down, you I offer me you, Lord. When I am dry, you fill my cup. You, you fill my cup. 
when I'm dry of all the joy. Jesus. You are worthy. my sin away. You anoint me with the Holy Spirit. You fill my cup with your salvation. Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Praise you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus, for saving me, for strengthening me. You are my strength. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Praise you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Jesus, we praise you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Praise you, Jesus. Thank you. Bless you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Praise you. Holy Spirit, come and fill us now. We are waiting and praying. As Jesus instructed us, Together with the apostles and Mother Mary, we are waiting and praying, surrendering. And today, what we surrender is the bundle of our weaknesses to be strengthened by your power from above that we may always be able to say no to sin in order to be faithful to you. Holy Spirit, come and fill us. Anoint us from above afresh with your power from above. Holy Spirit, come and fill us. Come, Holy Spirit, follow me now. I need your anointing from in your power. I love you, Holy Spirit, you're captivating my soul And every day I grow to love you more I'm reaching for your heart You hold my life in your hands Drawing me closer to you I feel your power in you Nothing compares to this place Where I can see you face to face Spirit and in truth, I worship you in spirit. I worship in, truth. in spirit and in truth. I worship you. I worship in spirit you. And in truth. Come, Holy Spirit. Come, Holy Spirit, fall on me now. I need your anointing. Come in your your anointing. So urgent Holy Spirit, you kept With your gifts the Holy Spirit and every day I grow to love you more I love you I'm reaching for every you. day I you want to love you more and more Holy Holy Spirit come to you come I Holy Spirit come and fill me see you face to face I worship you in spirit and in truth I worship you I worship, I worship you. you in spirit and in truth I worship you I worship, I worship you. you in spirit and in truth Novena to the Holy Spirit Come, Holy Spirit, come. And from your celestial home, shed a ray of light divine. Come, Father of the poor. Come, source of all our store. Come within our bosom shine. You, O oh comforter, the best. You, the soul's most welcome guest. Sweet refreshment here below. In our labor, 
rest most sweet grateful coolness in the heart solace in the midst of woe o most blessed light divine shine within these hearts of yours and our inmost being fill very not we have not nothing good in deed or thought nothing free from taint of ill he love wounds our strength renew on our dryness pour your dew wash the stains of guilt away bend the stubborn heart and will melt the frozen warm the chill guide the steps that go astray on the faithful who adore and confess you evermore in your sevenfold gift descend give them virtue's sure reward give them your salvation lord give them joys that never end amen hallelujah come holy spirit fill the hearts of thy faithful and and kindle in them the fire of thy love send forth your spirit and they shall be created and thou shall renew the face of the earth let us pray o god who didst instruct the hearts of the faithful with the light of the holy spirit grant us in the same spirit to be truly wise and ever to rejoice in his consolation through christ our lord act of consecration to the holy spirit on my knees before the great multitude of heavenly witnesses i offer myself soul and body to you eternal spirit of god i adore the brightness of your purity the unerring keenness of your justice and the might of your love you are the strength and the light of my soul in you i live and move and am i desire never to grieve you by unfaithfulness to grace and i pray with all my heart to be kept from the smallest sin against you mercifully guard my every thought and grant that i may always watch for your light listen to your voice and follow your gracious inspirations i cling to you and give myself to you and ask you for your compassion to watch over me in my weakness holding the pierced feet of jesus looking at his five wounds trusting in his precious blood and adoring his opened side and stricken heart i implore you adorable spirit helper of my infirmity to keep me in your grace that i may never sin against you give me grace o holy spirit spirit of the father and the son to say to you always and everywhere speak lord for your servant is listening amen in our labor rest most sweet grateful coolness in the heat solace in the midst of woe lesson the gift of fortitude by the gift of fortitude the soul is strengthened against natural fear and supported to the end in the performance of duty fortitude imparts the will an impulse and energy which moves it to undertake without hesitancy the most arduous tasks to face dangers to trample under foot human respect and to endure without complaint the slow martyrdom of even lifelong tribulation the one who perseveres to the end will be saved matthew 24:13 let us pray come 
O blessed spirit of fortitude, uphold my soul in time of trouble and adversity. Sustain my efforts after holiness. Strengthen my weakness. Give me courage against all the assaults of my enemies. That I may never be overcome and separated from you, my God and greatest good. Amen. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give, Give us, us this day, day our daily, daily bread, bread, and forgive us our trespasses, trespasses as we forgive those who trespass, trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women. Blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy, Holy Mary, Mother, Mother of God, God pray, pray for, for us sinners, sinners now, now and, and at the hour of our, of our death. death. Amen. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As, As it was, was in the beginning, beginning is now, now and, and ever shall be, world, world without, without end. Amen. Amen. Prayer for the seven gifts of the Holy Spirit. O Lord Jesus Christ, who before ascending into heaven did promise to send the Holy Spirit to complete your work in the souls of the apostles and disciples. Be pleased to grant the same Spirit to me, that he may perfect in my soul the work of your grace and your love. Grant me the spirit of wisdom, that I may despise the perishable things of this world and aspire only after the things that are eternal. The spirit of understanding that my mind may be enlightened with the light of your divine truth. The spirit of counsel that I may ever choose the surest way of pleasing God and gaining heaven. The spirit of fortitude that I may bear my cross with you. That I may overcome with courage all the obstacles and oppose my salvation. The spirit of knowledge that I may know God and know myself and go perfect in the science of the saints. The spirit of piety that I may find the service of God sweet and amiable. And the spirit of fear that I may be filled with the loving reverence towards God and may dread in any way to displease Him. Mark me, dear Lord, with the sign of true disciples and animate me in all things with your spirit. Amen. Let us receive the blessing of the Eucharistic Lord. Sacrament divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. O sacrament most holy, O sacrament divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. O sacrament most holy, O sacrament divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. The Ministry of the Divine Retreat Center needs your support as they continue in their commitment to preach the good news of Jesus through the weekly retreats, the daily online and television ministry, through the service of 3,000 
disadvantaged persons the mentally challenged the aged the destitute women the sick and abandoned and economically disadvantaged families if you are inspired to share in this ministry through the sacred service of alms giving we invite you to send your love offering to divine charitable trust cd account number 04 02 23 one zero 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 one four HDFC Bank Chalakudi branch IFSC code HDFC zero 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 four zero two and email the details to Divine Retreat Center at gmail dot com.